All right, so here's a here's the third example I'm working. Uh, uh, finding a particular term in a binomial expansion that contains a certain term. So, for instance, in this case, here's the binomial raised to the 18th, and if we expand this out, okay, and I have videos on how to do that if you need to check those out, but if you expand this out, using the, bin the binomial theorem, we want to know which term has y cubed. We want to find that term okay, that contains y cubed. All right, so to do that, let's go and look at the binomial theorem, and I'll show you how you can get all that from just, you know, from looking at the theorem. All right, so what we have is x minus 3y to the 18th, and they want us to find the term containing y cubed, okay? All right, so you notice here's our, here's our binomial raised to a power. So this is the binomial raised to a power. A is x. B, since it's plus B, we have minus 3y, so our B would be negative 3y, okay, and then N is 18. Now, notice the combinations here in front, okay, N, that would be, that's our 18, that would be 18 going across all the way here, and then it starts with 0, 1, 2, 3, and it goes all the way up to n. So, for instance, on this one, we would have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on, all the way up to 18. Okay. And then the a term, that starts with a to the n. So, that would be what? a to the 18th. And then the next one would be a to the 17th, 16, 15, all the way down to a to the 0. We don't write a to the 0 because we know that this is just equal to 1. Okay, And then the b term, notice the first power, second, third, fourth, fifth, all the way up to, and in this case it would be 18. But notice there's no b there, but that's b to the 0, which is just 1. And we don't write b to the 0. All right. So this right here is just a is just a easier way to write this. It's more compact way to write it. And that's actually what we're going to be using is this part right here. That's the term. That's how you find the term by using this formula here. And look, we know we know that n see we need n. Well, what's n? n is 18. So we know n is equal to 18. What else do we need? We need a. Well, a is what? This term. So that's x. And then we need b. Well, what's b? That's this term. Well, that's this right here. Negative 3y. And then we need r. <clears throat> okay, we need r. So, r, well, look what we have. We have this y here, okay, that's b. Well, we know, we know that <coughs> y to the 0 is 1, y to the 1st is y, y squared is just y squared, y cubed, and it would keep going y to the 4th, and so on, all the way up to y to the 18th. And yes, I know the negative 3 is in there too. I'm just not writing it. Okay. So for like this term, it would actually be, if you had b squared, that would be 9y. Okay. And so on. I'm just not writing it. I'm just, I'm just wanting you to see how for b, how that pattern's working. So what you see here is, look at this. You see how this exponent here was a 0, and you see this value here, which is r, that's a 0 also. And then we have this exponent on the b is 1, r is 1, 
Exponent on the B is 2, R is 2. Exponent on the B is 3, R is 3. Look, look at this, all the way down to N on the exponent for B, R is N. Okay, so actually, since this is the B term, this tells us that R is what? 3. Okay, and, and I've got some other videos like this where we're doing x, and this might be, and this is like an x squared. And I'll have some to where instead of just a y here, we'll have like a y squared or a y cubed there that makes a difference. Okay, so check those out. Also, they should be right, right around where this one is. All right, <clears throat> now let's go ahead and well we can calculate it now <clears throat> because we know what we know what R is okay so we're just plugging everything into here okay so I have combination in choose R so combination in which is 18 choose R which is 3 times a which is X raised to the n minus r, n minus r, so that's 18 minus 3, times b, see, b, which is negative 3y, raised to the r, which is 3. All right, so now we have to calculate this combination, 18 choose 3. So you can do that on a calculator. It'd probably be best to do it on a calculator for this one because the numbers are so big. If you have one of the, if you have the TI graphing calculator, uh, look in the book that came with it. It'll tell you how to do it in on there. If you have a just a simple non-graphing scientific calculator, they have a cover on them. Just look in that cover, and there's a card in there, and it probably tells you in that card how to how to find it or you can just Google how to do it okay all right but let's let's just try putting it into the formula see what happens but this is the formula it's n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial now factorial what is that well if we have 5 factorial that's 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which that would be 120 uh, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, okay? So that's what factorial is. So let's just come down here, and let's see if we can calculate combination 18 choose 3. So that's 18 factorial over 3 factorial times 18 minus 3 factorial which would be 18 factorial over 3 factorial times 15 factorial. All right. So this, if we wrote this out, that's 18 times 17 times 16 times 15, and then it would be 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, all the way down to 1. But look, what's, what's 15 factorial? It's 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 all the way down to 1. Well, instead of writing all that, 15 times 14 times 13 all the way down to 1, I'm just going to write this 15 as 15 factorial. And the reason I did that is because, look, it'll cancel with this. Okay. Now, if we look at it, we have 18 times 17 times 16 over, well, what's 3 factorial? Well, 3 factorial is just 3 times 2 times 1, which that's 6. And, I mean, that goes to 1, that goes to 3, and you would still need to punch that into your calculator probably. Okay? So, I mean, but that's how you would simplify it by hand. So, but just to do this real quick I'm gonna go ahead and just punch the combination 18 choose 3 in my calculator and it actually comes out to 800 whoop, comes out to 816 so this is 816 
x to the 15th times, and then this, well, negative 3 cubed is negative 27, and y cubed is y cubed. <clears throat> and then you'll see I need to multiply those together. So 816 times negative 27, that gives me negative 22,032 and then x to the 15th y cubed. And that would be the term that contains y cubed. All right, so I hope that helped. Check out my other videos. Like I said, I have more examples of these, so check them out and give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.